going in the wall of death right now. It's like riding like a naked Ducati. What's up, man? Holy shit! I'm in. Who's this? Let's get in. Hey, cheers, bro. Let's go. Got your food. Hey Juan, you dropped your cup. You made the entire engine blonde. I've been looking at a lot of bikes, all right? Uh, I don't know. We made it to Born Free, That's and the right. bikes are looking great. What's going on guys? So it's Born Free weekend, finally made it here. I'm walking in because I brought my family. You can see them behind me. I wanted them to check out the bikes we built at the show. Uh, I'm gonna go find Juan. There's no cell phone service here, so let's start walking around, see what Juan's up to, check out the show a little bit, see what Born Free 14's all about, baby. Engineer, and I think he taught Juan everything. I know that even when Juan was welding some aluminum, he calls his brother like, hey, what's up? I'm not as good as Juan. Juan's, Juan's got all the fabrication skills. All right, what's up, man? Hey, nice to meet you, sir. Blair. Nice to meet you. How are you? Oh, nice, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Say hi. I haven't even gone and looked at them yet. Check them out. Right? I haven't been, I've been bombarded before I make it to the bike. Anything I should look out for that I want to check out? Don't um, listen to anything Juan says. That's the first best part about this. Yeah, this guy drove a Tesla here. Cut him yeah, off. Yeah. Cut him off. Cut him off. Uh, there is a lot of rad bikes. I think we should check out the choppers. Uh, yeah. Just a lot of like amazing craftsmanship went into those bikes. So I think. Let's go take. Let's go check out the choppers because, like yeah. you said, craftsmanship probably far none. I even like the bags. When I first seen it, I was like, ah, but and when we finished it, it was like, I like everything. Yeah. You know the guy that we took the bike to, the dyno, he texted me last night. He was like, holy, I couldn't imagine it was going to look this good. He saw it just looking like crap, you know, and he just got the motor no, running. It wasn't for looking us. like crap, but, but <laughs> it turned good. out really, really good. Yeah, thank you I very much. I just had three tacos. You guys weren't there, man. <laughs> we'll be there soon. The name of that tank. It's the street bob tank. Oh, the street bob. Yeah. Now, did that take a lot of uh, extra welding and adjusting or did it fit right on? It fit right on. Oh, it did? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh, that's yep. good to know. The only thing is we made sure we had a fuel pump out of a street bob. We tuned it with that fuel pump. The guys, man. Yep. Yeah, my son's got all this stuff on his bike. Nice. Yeah, I wanted to bring the family out. So I'm going to drive out so and check it out. Amazing. Yeah. It's great. Good to meet you. Man. Like I love you. We're just kind of stressing with you guys since you guys were putting this thing back together. And like, I was watching it with my wife. I go, look, this was Monday that they're putting this thing back yeah. together. And giving we you were this. we were soldering the brake lights uh, Wednesday. Wednesday night. Oh man, so, nice to meet you. Yeah. This turned out so good. Yeah. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. You guys yeah, I appreciate it. Did you build this one too? Yeah, I did. Dude, that one's sick. I was stoked because we didn't have a black for this one. Yeah, when I came then, through yesterday, I was hoping to see you guys. And I was like, oh, this day. Thank you very much for doing that. I appreciate it. I got four boards front and rear, 
shipper linkage, everything. Right. Stuff. So you guys make great stuff. Love it. Thank you very much. Love dude. It. I appreciate it. Dropping 144 pounds and riding 150 torques yeah. with those sticky tires and those carbon wheels. There was a moment that I raced Juan, he was on this, yeah. and I was not trying to wheel it. Okay. I was in first gear, and I didn't dump the clutch, I just looked at him and we went like this, and the bike's all, and I like wasn't ready for it actually. <laughs> you know, like I was Looked actually like, oh, everything we put on this bike, we're gonna work on off road, right? But like you guys got to see firsthand like the R and D. So normally what would happen is we would get to this level, we would ride with it for like two to three months and see if it failed. Right. And you guys did an awesome job, man. I appreciate it. Awesome Thank job. Thank you very much. I've been following you guys. I live close by. I've been waiting to come by. Hell yeah. After you guys get your move done. Oh, are you out in the like valley area? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Love your builds, man. I make you watch nice videos all the time. Thank dude. you very much. Watch your videos all the time. Appreciate it. Time. You saw, you really saw everything. Anytime we started working on it, we'd bring this out yeah. and we'd try to hit record. I mean, there was moments where we both needed all of our hands. Yeah. And it really was just us. This is how we do the vlog, right? There's not a third person. So I'd be like, oh, I'm going to set it on the ground real quick. <laughs> like, it was, it, was, it was so sick to watch, man. I, I mean, I drive like 12 hours a day from work. So okay. like, I'll just put it on like my phone holder. Nice. I'll just watch you guys while I'm driving. And, Where are you from? I'm, I'm from Vegas. Okay. So, so we drove out here today. You do like truck driving? Yeah. Nice. So I, actually yesterday I was in Oklahoma, drove straight to Vegas. No and then I had to pick up my girlfriend. Like right when I got home, then we came straight here. We, we got here like two hours early and slept in the car for a little bit. Yeah. So, I, I came out strictly for this, man. I wanted to see this. Dude, I appreciate of course, that. Of course, man. Thank you. Hey, very you guys saw it. Yeah. Thanks, Thank man. Yeah. Ricardo. Yeah. Following everything on there. Nice. Yeah. We've been here a lot all day, but we've been vibing. I appreciate the it. Everything. Thank you. Love y'all's content, man. I appreciate yeah. it. I wanted to interview and lance this. It's a Thank warfare device from the Navy. I'm stoked so you got one. I just thought you might enjoy it. Stole... Well, oh, right. Thank you very a, much. It's a warfare device from the Navy. So. Oh, thank you. Yes, sir. Yeah, but, uh, yeah I got to meet. Honestly, I got to meet your dad and Galen and Josh the other day. Amazing. Y'all are all awesome. I want to let you know your wheelie was substantially better than his. <laughs> What's up? I think this is paid. You're paying him to say that. Hey, from a fellow Milwaukeean, you're the band, brother. All right. Thank That's you. right. Oh, thank Good you. Good job. Yeah, yeah, there, there, there you go, bro. Yeah. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Follow the channel. That's the, that's the, all, all the, all the parts you. that you like yeah, came up with yourself, right? How much weight? 144 pounds. No fucking shit. Awesome. Been Thanks watching your whole vlog series. Ah, spent a lot of money with you guys. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you you helped support the build then. Yeah. Go, I appreciate it. Where'd you come from? I'm in Orange County. Okay. Yeah, I'm in Orange County. I'm a recruiter out here for the Army, so. Oh, right on. I've been up to you guys' shop a couple times. Yeah. All right, I lost one. Not sure where he's at, but my wife grabbed me. We're going into Wall of Death right now. What up? Check it out. It's like riding like a naked Ducati. <laughs> yeah. A beautiful job. Thank you very much. It's awesome. Great job. Yeah. Thank you. Um, thanks for supporting the brand. Yeah, of course. Thank you nice for all that you do. Thank you very much. Hey, what's up? Hey. 
Where's Juan? I don't know where he is. He was. I told him I was like, I'm gonna go use. There he is. There's the man. Hey, I lost you. I lost you. What's up, dude? Where were you? They want hey, a photo. Hey, thanks you for all that you do, man. We have all your bars. Hey, love your bars, man. I have the nine and a half in Boss Bars. Appreciate it. What bike do you have? Uh, road bike. Oh, okay, sick. Yeah. So, oh, and the adapter plate. Everything works so good. Let me sit back a little further back. And, oh, that part I like. Cause I was against the T bars, but when he showed me your setup. I was like, okay, nice. Right. Mike's came out excellent. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate it. Hey, uh, that's for you. You're not drinking? Yeah. That's for you, man. I'll do something. Come on. Hey, cheers, bro. Let's go. I had breakfast, dude. I'm going to get some more food. I'm going to get some Seriously, bro. Seriously. So, so fun to watch. And thanks for taking us along on the journey. Yeah, dude. Thank you so much. I yeah. appreciate it. Got your floorboards and shit. Oh, I've been yeah. watching all this stuff, dude. It's fucking just been badass. Thank you very yeah. much. Yeah. This thing's dope. The paint job on this thing. Thank you. Killed yeah. it. Appreciate it. Hey, brother, you living the dream right now? I've been living the dream since '85. Holy shit! Whoa! I'm in. Who's this? Just get in. Get in. Oh, there's a step. Yeah, bread dry. Are you gonna rate your? I know. <laughs> on a Saturday, tacos on a Saturday. The tortilla is actually pretty good. I like that. It's a little crispy, but I definitely think it's asada. Can't really go on our normal scale. I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 because we're here at Born Free with the bikes in the background, and it's awesome. We got your photo dry over here. gone and checked out any of the bikes yet. You tried. I'm tired though. I got some tacos. I didn't get my my second coffee. I missed that. What's up? Where, where are you guys? That's Jim. Hello. Jim is the one who, he's the artist at Thrash and he drew the uh, engine tees and a lot of the stuff that's been coming out. So, homie. That's like, that looks like the one we did on the DX. Yeah. So factory Harley Davidson running 3D printed air filter cover. They got the monoblock Brembos. They do have a rusty axle nut. Hey Juan, you dropped your cup. <laughs> the bills and the tacos and everything. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank Selena. You. Selena. So hanging out, we're waiting for the traffic to die down. It's been a pretty wild experience, like with how many people followed the build. Yeah. And how many people like so stoked to come check it out in person. Say nice things to us, so I appreciate that. And now we get to finally use the Portage on. So we have Ray Ripple's Road Glide that she did a gnarly custom paint job to, and she kind of chopped up the fenders a little bit, did her art on them, kind of did this rust feature that take you over to this side. She made the entire engine blonde. She did like a rust color paint. And uh, look at that, you can see right through her fender. Rolling piece of art. Carbon ST, the red, white, and blue ST. Sosa built this. We talked about it a little bit. I got to say hi to her. 16 year old girl. Our father does sheet metal. To appreciate how much like craftsmanship goes into building something like this. Yeah. It looks like it's all one piece, and I think it's like it's a lot of different things that kind of came together. It's pretty rad. Every all the body works aluminum. The dad said. And then the area that would be the tank, all the way to the rear fender. Now, if I if I'm correct, one from here. All the way to here is one yep. piece. FXR division. It looks like they took a Pan America and made it into Touring Dyna or something yeah, like that. Yeah, it looks like a tribute Dyna. That's unique and different. Pretty sweet how they did a dual exhaust system. Goes under. And then one muffler's there, and then you can see one muffler over there. Suicide Machine Coast bike. The rad looking uh, Pan America that they made into kind of like a sport bike. I'm gonna show you my homie Wesley's bike. He worked at Vance Hines with me. He's a metal guy. He's a freaking magician. He repairs like broken head fans and stuff, so he gets down. He's kind of like. He's got that like he cut out this area for the plate there. Oh, it's dope. Yeah. 
It's obviously not a original painted because there's this like interesting cone right here. That's not stock. Big sick, but there's yeah. a bunch of sick bikes. Check, okay, check out. There's there's two that I was looking at earlier. Right, Come over here and check this thing out. This orange flamed one, you know that the orange flame one would be with the fairing. This one would actually be in my lineup at the house. Sick artwork. Dope artwork on the oil pan, flames on the frame, shovel with the orange between the fins. Say shovel. Knuckle hair. Knuckle. Cut him off. Uh, Cut him off. Tired. I've been looking at a lot of bikes, all right? Uh, Mr. Cool Ice. Rocker box covers in clear. The primary is in full clear. FCR carbs. That's race shit. Do you, have, a, you know what that is? On a pan head? It's a pan FX. Dude, this is pretty freaking sick. I like that it has brakes front and back. You know, I get choppers. Don't normally have a front. But dude, this looks like it would be fun to ride. This one's definitely beautiful. More of a traditional Harley, like yeah. chopper, what you would imagine. It's out of Idaho. Very cool. It is a Weber, dude, <laughs> check that out. It's an old knucklehead. It kind of looks like an M8 head. Is that an it's M8? only an 85, so it, it's just an Evo. But that, those, yeah, it does. Those look like M8 heads. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it says 85. Wow, look at this. That's pretty. Yeah. What are your airplanes like that? Airplanes Yeah, the blast. One, it was a stressful three months. I remember the first week we started this build. Yeah. I was trying to get Juan to go golfing with me and some of my buddies. And he's like, I'm not going. We're never going to make this bike if we keep hey, doing stuff like this. But we were working on the bike until they picked it up. So we would have taken that day off. We might not have finished. So we did the last two weeks. We really did start burning the midnight oil. The day they picked it up, the truck driver to pick it up for this show waited for us. had to wait for us. The amount of people that came up to us, letting us know that they watched the series of the build and then we're just stoked to see it it was incredible we received a lot of love and i i felt really appreciative you know of everyone like being so rad to us and thankfully you guys watched this video we're here at born free so thank you guys for following along on the whole build we made it to born free That's and the right. bikes are looking great we'll see you guys on the next one see you later